Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to create HDF5 files using Pandas. Pandas is a really powerful uh, package that provides a lot of useful functionalities. One of them is reading and writing HDF5 files and the way to do that is uh, by, you know, of course we import Pandas and we, relay, we prefer to do it, import Pandas as PD and then from Pandas we use this HDF store class, so I'm saying here HDF equals uh, period of HDF store, we create a HDF store object and we pass it a full path to a file name. Um, you can notice that I'm saving this file name, this file on my desktop. I'm calling it HDF5 underscore pandas dot H5. And when we do that, pandas will create that HDF store and then we can add things to it. Uh, as we learned when we created HDF5 uh, datasets in the previous videos. Um, so here, what I do here is I create a pandas data frame by loading a CSV file. So by reading a CSV file, I'm saying pd.readcsv. I have this CSV file uh, on my downloads folder, in my download folder. And what I do here is I say HDF, so I'm using the HDF store object, dot put to add that, and I give it a key and then the data frame is the value. So if I look at the documentation of the put method from the uh, 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 HDF store object, it stores an object inside an, uh, in a HDF store. And my key can be an object, so it can be a string or anything. We're using a string here. And then the value can be a pandas data structure, series, data frame, or a panel. And then the format by default is fixed, but I'm using table. And you can have a look at the other options, like for example, to drop the uh, NAs or not, or to play about with the encoding or not. That's up to you. That's something you can uh, uh, set later if you want. But now let's create load the, the data frame. So this is we file and then save it in the uh, HDF store. That's what we've done at the moment. And then here, what we do here is we create another data frame from a dictionary. We call it DF2. If we display the contents of DF2, data frame 2, then it's a table, city rank score 1, score 2. And then we also add it using the put method. We give it a key of DF2. It can be like maybe, for example, uh, DF2 key, let's call it. So the first one we call it what? DF1. The second one is DF2 key. And then this is the key. The value now is my data frame 2, format table, and then keep the columns. Let's run that, and of course, let's not forget to close the HDF5 uh, file. But before doing that, we can have a look at the list of methods that we have there. We can append data if we want, close it. We can copy, uh, have a look at the file name, get something. This is when we read from a file. We'll have a look at that. If we create groups, we can have a look at the groups. We can retrieve items, iterate through the items. We can have a look at the keys. You know, these are the keys that we've been uh, creating or we've been adding and so on and so forth, lots and lots of really useful uh, functions, okay, or methods. Let's delete that and close the file. So now we've created a um, HDF5 file using pandas, and we've saved in it uh, a pandas data structure, which is a data frame. Um, we can add, you know, series or panel, any pandas data structure. In the next video, we're going to be seeing how we can do the opposite, which is reading the contents of this uh, HDF5 file using pandas, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.